Hello Internet, welcome to this video all about Shopify Hydrogen security tips. This is the second video of this series and in the previous one we learned how to not leak our API keys in the uh, client and in this one we learn all about cross-site scripting attacks but namely how to prevent them, okay? If you're not familiar with what cross-site scripting attacks are, uh, I highly encourage you to Google or to YouTube the, 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 that and uh, get yourself informed and with any of these videos or from the wikipedia page or this page here but namely what it is like name implies is let's say you have site a which is your site and site b which belongs to a malicious hacker by using this technique site b is able to run scripts on your site and do things that um, are not 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 good at all right so uh, we, we we don't want that obviously right we want our site our storefront to be secure and our client data to be our customers data to be kept safe okay and if we go back if you remember in a subsequent video where we tried to this tailwind is not the point of this video but I just use it as an, an illustration when we start we tried to style our app using Tarwin. We created a route called Tarwin. And if you don't remember, if you if you um, you didn't follow that video, the link is in the description. But basically, let's see here uh, what the console. Look. Why basically we are trying to style our app using uh, these components here that we just copied paste from the Tarwin UI uh, design system, and we are trying to add them to our application. But we have this thing here this error message and hence why the, uh, the the image are not loading refuse to load the image such and such the link to the image because it violates the following contain security policy directive self uh, default self and so on uh, Shopify CD and then Shopify okay so what the, this is is basically telling us that this link the link to this image okay was not added into the whitelist, okay? That's basically what it means, okay? So in order to secure your app, you need to have a whitelist of, 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 of URLs that can load resources into your app, okay? So here, this image, like when we go here in the Tarwin UI and we try to, and this is, again, I'm just using Tarwin UI as an example. Uh, this could have been any image from anything that is not in the whitelist, okay? uh this will give you the same error right so with what you're trying to do here is to just go and grab this component here uh and the products that it contains obviously those products the, the source the images for those products are pointing to a url that is different to the that doesn't uh, that that's not been added to the whitelist of of um of urls okay so which means that at the moment our site is secure both a junior developer just hiding to the team may want the image to be load to, to load and may not be aware that this is um, um, for security reasons that we have a whitelist of address and by the way where is that whitelist defined in uh, our code base well I'm glad you asked if you have scaffolded your Shopify hydrogen storefront using the Shopify CLI you have in the entry.server.tsx file this utility script here that's imported from Shopify Hydrogen that defines the contained security policy of our app, okay? And you see this header here that we create, then we use it down here to define the contained security policy. So the junior developer, to make the app work, can comment this line out, and then all of a sudden it's gonna work, okay? Everything now works, the app is loaded, but now your site is vulnerable to cross-site scripting attacks because you no longer have a content security policy. You no longer have a white list of address. And if you remember, if I console log this here, as you can see here, this is the this is the white list of address that are allowed. Okay, this is the white list of address that are allowed. We have self. Self means the the, the website itself, our address. So in this case, localhost uh, column three thousand. Okay, self. We have this nouns here and then we have the Shopify C CDN, right? We want to obviously this, this, uh, the, the scaffolding done by the Shopify CLI. Uh, so it, it, it presumes that um, your images are going to come from the Shopify uh, CDN. And obviously also you may load resources from Shopify.com. But if you're using, let's say, a CMS, you want, to, you want the images 
some of the images potentially to be loaded from that CMS. So you will have to add that CMS to the whitelist here, okay? So now with, with this line commented out, our site is vulnerable, but the images are working. So how, what can we do to get both? We want both to secure our app and for the image here uh, to, to still be loading, okay? It's very simple. All we have to do is to add this link, the link here, this darwin.ui.com into our into our whitelist and it's very simple to do all we have to do is come here do header equals header dot replace uh, we are gonna just grab the Shopify CDN okay all we want to do is add one more uh, one more um, one more address to the whitelist so i'm going to copy this here like this it's nice there might be better ways to do this but yeah this is how i tend to do it it's very simple i just get one that is already there because we are not creating this from scratch right this is something that is given to us by shopify so um i just do it like this obviously and then i uncomment this one out all right so there we go now i have the image again Right, it's there. So if I comment this one out again, you see that we're gonna get the failure once more. I didn't save. Let's save that. If we see, it's gone. Right. So if I put that back, right, we have the image. Right. And then if I go in uh, the tarwin.file thing here, and then I remove tarwin.com here, and I put let's say tarwin2.com. Right, it's still gonna fail, right? Not only because the image doesn't exist, but most more so because it's not in the whitelist, right? It's not in the whitelist of addresses anymore. So this image is not in the whitelist. That's why it's failing. So I hope you understand what's going on here. We have um, just to summarize, we have a header that is created for us by Shopify to protect our site by default. Great job on that, Shopify. So uh, our merchants, the merchants can have security uh, enabled by default and cross site can be safe from cross site scripting attacks. But that introduces uh, a bit of rigidity because now we can't load images that are not uh, directly from the Shopify CDN. We may want to, to load images from Sanity and stuff like that. So that's how, if you, if you want to do that, obviously you want to still retain some security. The, the, the last thing to do is to come and comment this one out like this because now you're exposed right so the good thing to do and and it's going to solve gives you both both security and flexibility is to just change the header and add more urls to the whitelist like this here i hope you found this useful and if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and i see you in the next one cheers bye bye